Hey everybody, Andrew here from Living the Northern Life. Is your door flap loose on your Ford F-150? Watch this video before you take yours to the dealership. I have an issue with the gas cap here. It doesn't stay uh, closed when I want it to. And so I have to uh, pop this off here just with a little screwdriver, pull that lid take this off so I can get to these uh, three bolts and then I've got to climb up underneath and there's two tabs one about here and one about here I guess you can probably see that here and here uh, I'm gonna put a little uh, paper towel in here so that if I drop the bolts they don't accidentally slide down there I might have to climb underneath to uh, pop those clips uh, I'm not sure but uh, today I'm gonna try out my new GoPro uh, chesty mount uh, hopefully that'll work well while I'm working in that area, uh, but I'm going to have this camera set up as well on a tripod. So hopefully we capture everything the first time. All right. Thanks guys. So all that we need is a flat screwdriver and an eight millimeter socket. I'm attaching mine to my Milwaukee, uh, but I'm using it on low impact. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to take this paper towel, put it in here so that it doesn't, uh, uh, no bolts can fall in. Next, we'll pull off this easy. That was really easy. <laughs> Next, we'll take out the bolts. Okay. So now we have to reach underneath and get these two tabs here. So now we'll try to get up to the top one. Here we go, I think I got it. Okay. The one thing I forgot to do was to take this guy off. I don't know if that's really necessary or not, but we're taking it off to give us some room. And this should. And that's exactly what the problem was. Okay, so close that. I'm going to try some pliers on this because uh, this is really painful. <laughs> this is a 2013 Ford F-150. Uh, this is all the videos we've been watching are about the 2009 F-150. Um, so I'm going to try to grab the pliers here and just push it back over the top. Kind of hopefully. like that. All right, so that worked out well. Way easier on my fingers. Okay, now just to put it back in and uh, I honestly don't think it's going to come out. It probably worked itself out over time, but um, yeah, that was like seven years. So I think we'll be good. Okay, back in. <laughs> Does that have to come out? All right, so that was simple enough. 
Now we just have to remount the screws. Put the Easy Fuel clip back on. And the door. Now there is a little groove here and here that that has to slide into, so we'll put that like that and slide. And of course it didn't make it on the bottom. Here we go again. It's sticking out further, so I gotta take this apart again. Loosen it up anyway. There we go. Now it's in. All right. All fixed up. Well, this is fixed for now, guys. I uh, actually didn't have to climb underneath to hit those buttons. It wasn't uh, terrible. Uh, it wasn't as easy as what I've seen on the 2009s. This is a 2013, like I had said, uh, but it went together fairly easy. Uh, I didn't do any kind of other repairs. I just put the pin back in. Uh, hopefully you guys found this handy. If so, give it a like, please comment below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, we'd ask that you subscribe today. All right, guys, until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.